Thank you, Vivian. It is amazing to be here with all of you this afternoon in this fantastic city. Uh, this is the first time, of course, for LULAC to be in Salt Lake City in its 86-year history. And we are just so excited to be here and proud uh, to be part of this wonderful, dynamic, growing community and to be here for this occasion. This is also the first year that LULAC will bestow a series of awards that recognizes corporate responsibility and positive action within the federal government. For many years, we've awarded our members for their great work, but we wanted to make sure we awarded our long-standing LULAC partners, who will be recognized for their instrumental role in furthering LULAC's mission to advance the economic condition, educational attainment, health, and civil rights of the Latino population. This year, LULAC is happy and honored to award this recognition to Univision Communications as the 2015 recipient of the LULAC National Corporation of the Year. Let's give them a big hat on applause. Now this award, this award recognizes Univision's dedication to increasing opportunities for Latinos with programs on early childhood education, health and voter engagement, civic responsibility, and even on broadband adoption. Most recently, I want to mention that they've got this incredible campaign called the Univision Contigo. And when I looked at the campaign objectives, I realized something really amazing. This is a corporation that has the same exact objectives that LULAC does. Educational opportunities, economic opportunities, civic engagement, and access to quality health care, and in improving the quality of life for our communities through better health. And so I was just amazed. I said, we're doing the same things that you are, except you're a media co company and we're a nonprofit Hispanic organization. And I thought that was incredible. And so for that reason, we felt it was only right to recognize this incredible institution for the good work that they're doing. But just after we had already made that decision, an issue came up, which you all have heard about now, uh, the fact that Donald Trump said some extremely derogatory comments about our community. And I'm not going to go into exactly what he said because I don't want to give him more attention. What I do want to focus on is the fact that Univision was the first company to stand up and take that man on. And they did a fantastic job of doing that. And you know who your friends are. When the chips are down, times are tough, you've got a bigot calling out your community, attacking your community, and a company whose primary responsibility is to their shareholders, goes off script and says, we're going to stand up with you and we're going to defend the community just like you are. And we were so amazed that they took that step and we were so delighted. So without further ado, I want to bring out an incredible partner of LULAC, um, a man who I'm sure was behind the, the decisions to really make this all possible for us. Please help me welcome the Vice President for Human Resource and Community Empowerment for Univision Communications, Mr. Bob Yamas. Gracias, Brent. Hola. Univision, Unidad, Unity Lunch, all kind of goes together. Thank you, Brent, for your very kind words and for this treasured award. I'm proud to receive it on behalf of Univision's more than 5,000 employees who daily dedicate themselves to fulfilling our corporate mission to inform, empower, entertain, and advocate on behalf of Hispanic America. And to President Moran, Executive Director Wilkes, and the LULAC board and staff, congratulations on your leadership, achievements, and for convening another terrific conference. Univision has a long-standing and productive relationship with LULAC, and as Hispanics grow in numbers, we look forward to working with LULAC to ensure that Hispanics are even more active and even more impactful in our country in the future. If I may, I would like to tell you a little bit about our company. By any measure, operating performance, ratings, or innovation, Univision is a high-performing contemporary media company. Central to this success is the unique relationship we have with the Hispanic community. Expressed in corporate terms, 
We enjoy the highest brand equity of any media company, are in the top five of all companies in the United States, according to Burke Company's brand research. But the one measure that I believe best exemplifies our unique relationship with the community is the daily interactions we have with them, including the thousands of calls that we have every week. What is the best school for my child? What dentist should I go to? My house is on fire, what do I do? The relationship with our community and the trust that we have in it, and they have in us, is core to our corporate mission and how we perform to it. We do so through award-winning news with the likes of Jorge and Maria Elena, through celebrated and cherished novelas, mi corazón, mi corazón, <laughs> and through exciting sports and musical events, all delivered through our nine networks, our 61 local television stations, our 67 radio stations, and a vast array of digital platforms and apps. And we do so in both Spanish and in English. And always, always, regardless of content, platform, or language, we stay right at the heart, at the heart of what it means to be an Hispanic in America. Our dedication to hard work, our sacred regard for our families, our aspirations and sacrifices for our children, and our appreciation of where we come from and increasingly where we must go and what we must do to fulfill our destinies and to fuel this country's growth. And this intimacy with Hispanic America extends to how we engage and serve them in their local communities, where they live, where they work, and where they go to school. We do so, we do so through Univision Contigo, our community-based empowerment platform, which we use to inform and mobilize our community through programs in the areas most important to them, education, prosperity, health, and civic engagement. We design our Contigo programs to not only serve our community, but also to generate measurable movement, thereby providing proof to everyone, non-Hispanics alike, that Hispanics are on the move, that they're increasing in their engagement and their empowerment, that they are becoming even more educated, more prosperous, healthier, and more influential, and they should be reckoned with, they should be invested in, they should be sold to. I would like to share some of the results that our community has turned in in response to our empowerment platform. First of all, in 2014 alone, over two million, two million Hispanics attended our community-based ferias. Across the country, across all our programs, Educación, Prosperidad, Salud, y Participación Cívica. And I'm proud to tell you, I'm proud to tell you that Univision loves children and that many of our programs are directed toward their development, but also toward their welfare. In 2014, using Univision's platforms, we worked with partners to raise $21 million for children in need, including Los Niños de la Frontera. <laughs> Turning to this year, 2015 is looking very strong for our community. In February, 40,000 attended our financial aid workshops to fill out forms and apply for financial aid, 14,000 in the city of Houston alone. In March, another 40,000 attended our Prosperidad Fairs to improve their financial knowledge and skills. 3,000 were small business owners who attended our small business boot camps. And just last month, 32,000 attended our health fairs and 10,000 received valuable health screenings, health screenings. Simultaneously, we also launched Reto 28, our 28-day wellness and diet program, and in just a few weeks, over 320,000 people joined us on the challenge to become healthier Latinos. I could share even more numbers with you related to our programs, but let me just stipulate, the results are significant, and they punctuate the desire and the willingness of our community to work hard and to get better every day and across all fronts. For the remainder of the year, we have a full slate of empowerment programs, and in fact, two of them will involve our good friends at LULAC. Later this summer, we will initiate a campaign on the broadband gap that is taking a toll on Hispanic households, most notably on our children's ability to perform on the most basic of their educational requirements, the homework that schools assign to them. This is a project that was introduced to us by Brent Wilkes, and LULAC will be a major partner on this campaign as we try to get Latino families more connected. And secondly, as always, you can count on Univision, working with LULAC and others, 
to do its part to encourage Latinos to be more engaged in civic participation. Last year, working together, we registered over 73,000 Hispanic voters in a midterm election year. And just last week, on the birthday of our country, we launched our annual citizenship campaign using all of Univision's assets and with our key partners, including LULAC. This campaign is targeted at the four million Hispanics who are eligible for citizenship. So as they become citizens of this great country, they can reap the benefit for themselves and their families, and they can also fulfill on newly gained responsibilities. Going forward, we are working with LULAC and others to make next year, 2016, a huge year for Hispanic voter registration and turnout. It has to be huge. It has to be huge. Because every year, every election, that our population is larger than before and we don't vote as we should, not only do we not exert our due influence, but we allow others to conclude that we matter less than our numbers warrant. And also, if we don't, if we don't step up as we should, we tell our children, including the 66,000 Hispanics who turn 18 every month, that they should not aspire to vote. And finally, we leave Hispanics who rely on this country to provide them a level playing field and cannot vote without our support and the power of our vote. Who will vote for the candidates and initiatives that will affect the lives of the 11 million Hispanics and their families who live in the shadows of this country? They can't. We must. Or who at the local level will vote in the interest of the one in four school-aged children who are Hispanic, many who are plagued with underperforming education systems? They can't. We must vote for their interest. Look, the events of the past few weeks have punctuated the need and also the ability of our community to step up. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All hands on deck, everyone in this room. Let's use this unity lunch to commit that we will not let 2016 pass without an all-out effort to get out the Latino vote. Because I don't know about you, but I'm pretty frickin' tired of having other people define Latinos. But you know, they will, as long as we let them. No los podemos dejar. So let's use our organizations, our leadership, and the credibility we've earned to get Latinos more engaged and empowered across all fronts so that they can define for the others, the nature, the nature of our true identity, that we are people of destiny, central to the success of this country for the rest of its days, that we are the back to the future Americans, possessing all the attributes and values that time and again have made this country great, hardworking, optimistic, and believers of the American dream, faith-based and humble, family-centered, willing to sacrifice anything for our children, and as throughout America's history, fueled by the recency, the sacrifice, the promise of the immigrant experience. Let's help, show, let's, have, let's help Latinos show others that given all of this, and if we do our part, they should want more of us in this country, not fewer of us. And let's work together as Latinos to be confident in our strengths and in our values que somos familia, que somos Latinos, y que somos Americanos. Thank you. God bless our families in this wonderful country, the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you.